Welcome to Nuclear Learning, an online initiative produced by the Stimson Center to facilitate the study of South Asia's nuclear trajectories. Our first open online course, Nuclear South Asia, is available free of charge at nuclearlearning.org. This video is part of a special series on deterrence and North Korea and features Jenny Town, a research analyst at the Stimson Center and managing editor and producer of 38 North. We discuss whether denuclearization would lead to the collapse of the Kim regime. The question of de will denuclearization lead to the collapse of the Kim regime, I, I think it really depends on how everything moves forward um, and how, how this process moves along. Um, you know, certainly the country has sacrificed for you know, the, um, the development of a nuclear deterrent. Um, and I think you're starting to see this now even through the summit process and starting to see as Kim Jong-un starts to lay the foundation for, you know, a shift in their strategic policy and this new strategic line is a, a little bit of, um, you know, backlash uh, from the public wondering again, you know, why did we sacrifice so much for something to give it up right away? So, you know, certainly it has to be a very careful process um, and it has to be one that is handled um, in such a way that it does open the door for greater opportunities and to show the benefits of a denuclearization um, in order for, you know, Kim Jong-un to go down that road um, and still be able to maintain his power.